Most of our future generations are going to live in cities. The way we design and build cities today largely determines the quality of our life tomorrow. The World Future Council has been working on the Regenerative Cities program since 2008 and officially launched it in China in 2015. With this program, we aim to examine the challenges and opportunities of environmental stewardship and resource management as they relate to urban development in China and to provide in-depth research and analysis of concrete case studies. We have held quarterly media salons in China, inviting opinion leaders to engage in dialogues with media outlets and thereby improving the public discourse on regenerative cities. WFC values environmental education, targeting the younger generations who are expected to grow up as the country's pillar supporting sustainable development. We developed a series of reports to showcase best practice policy solutions on regenerative cities from across China and the globe to promote the integration of ecosystem values into urban planning and to advise China on green urban transformation. Each year we have held our Future of Cities Forum in China, providing a platform for hundreds of city governments, urban planners, businesses, financial institutions and NGOs to explore together policy solutions and interdisciplinary cooperation for regenerative cities. In the past two and a half years, we were invited to speak at over 100 high-level government forums in China, advising officials on how the regenerative vision can be integrated into practice in different sectors of urban development. I think the future of the future is a very good opportunity. In this case, especially in the Huangshu and Huangshu, we have also met with the experts of the industry, especially the research department, the research department, the research department, the research department. 那么这些交流呢，可以促进我们对整个城市发展的一些认识。In July 2016, witnessed by Chinese Premier Li Keqiang and EU Council President Zhongshu Zhengke, we signed a memorandum of understanding with Yunjiang City to pilot the regenerative city concept and help the city to protect and restore its urban ecosystem. In 2017, a guide on urban wetland protection and restoration was developed in cooperation with the pilot city and with support from the German Nature Conservation Agency. The guide was adopted by Yunjiang City for its urban planning and development and is expected to benefit 2 million city residents by providing urban ecosystem service. Uh, 非常的有力，在探索城镇化的这条路径当中，我们也希望运城呃能探索出来一条走绿色城镇化的道路。In September 2017, about 30 mayors from various Chinese cities visited the WFC Hamburg office to learn about our work on regenerative cities. In 2016, two of our recommended policy strategies were reflected in the new urban agenda at the Habitat 3 conference. Our policy recommendations on building a regenerative vision into China's One City campaign and on protecting as well as restoring urban green and blue infrastructure was presented to the central government of China through a series of high-level policy dialogues. Each year we got over 100 media clips covering millions of audiences. We were interviewed and quoted by top media outlets in China such as CCTV, Xinhua News, Hunan TV, China Radio International and many more. Looking forward, we hope that our work in China will bring cities together to tackle urban development challenges. We will continue to work on improving public participation on regenerative urban development and reintegrating nature back into the city. We will help cities to integrate ecological conservation and low-carbon development into their urban development plans to support the Convention on Biodiversity set of robust targets for the next 10 years and to support the implementation of the Paris Agreement at the city level. Together we can ensure that future generations living in cities inherit a robust and intact world.